My name is Dick Chikini. I will be one of the presenters. We also uh, we have uh, Tony Hackett from uh, Amadis, and he'll be uh, going over their product and uh, uh, some of the uh, neat features that it has and uh, a general overview of what the different items are as they pertain to the market. I will follow afterwards uh, with more of a hardware overview of our products and how they can be used uh, in conjunction with uh, the Amatis software. So with that, I am going to go ahead and turn it over to Tony and uh, let him uh, run the first part of the show. Great. Thank you very much, Dick. I appreciate it. Uh, so my name is Tony Hackett. I work for a company called iMedis. And we make a software product called Symphony. And the reason why we call it Symphony is we take all the ecosystem of your security infrastructure um, and create harmony within the deployment. So we're taking your video cameras, uh, whether they be analog or, or IP, your servers, access control, uh, other items that could be on the network such as HVAC, lights, alarms, so on and so forth, and bring it into a centralized management solution that allows you to command and control um, to a greater degree than uh, our competition. We call it integrated intelligent video management. It's a combination of a couple things. First, it's integrated video management, meaning that you have a single interface that allows you to view uh, an unlimited number of cameras, record a uh, mapping feature, which is interactive. It'll show you where uh, there's activities uh, throughout the map. Um, and you can click on those um, or control cameras or see access control readers, uh, visually see names of people swiping cards. Uh, it's infinitely hyperlinkable. In other words, you could have a map of a city, click on a building, click on a floor, um, and see the cameras on that particular floor. Uh, we're also doing analyzing at the same time, um, whether you're using um, a camera's video motion detection, our own video motion detection, or video analytics, which I'll talk about in just a second, um, and alarm management and reports. So we're, we're taking in all the alarms, and we're able to provide uh, not only a management tool to handle all the alarms, but also reporting to show you um, how active uh, certain areas are, where uh, maybe alarms are being missed. Um, and a reporting mechanism that allows you to communicate the types of alarms um, that you're receiving in a very visual, um, easy-to-use, friendly format. We're the only software in the world that's both a, um, a video management tool and video analytics all on a single software platform. So because we have uh, analytics built into the system, it's deeply integrated into uh, what we call video management. And with these video analytics, um, you can create rules or policies that would alert you in real time to things such as perimeter breaching, uh, people or vehicles in restricted areas, uh, dwell times, loitering times, illegal parking, uh, object removed, object left behind, people counting, uh, people density or image density. Um, so it's a it's a quite it's it's a full featured uh, video analytics solution that's tucked inside of a um, robust video management solution. First thing I'd like to do is just kind of point out a little bit of misconception about video motion detection and video analytics. Um, it's often that I hear um, uh, customers and, and end users talk about how they're looking for analytics or so they've been shown analytics and what they've really seen is something called video motion detection. Um, and that's just really just analyzing the scene change um, using pixel, pixel change. Uh, and if you look at the two screenshots below, the one on the left is a video motion uh, camera um, that is alarming or so showing motion on the tree. Video analytics goes a little bit further than video motion detection, uh, where it actually looks at the foreground and the movement and from a computer standpoint uh, determines if the activity is significant enough and classifies uh, people, vehicles, um, and based on this classification of people and vehicles, you can create rules or policies that help um, either abstract business intelligence or alert 
in real time um, to people or vehicles doing things that um, could be uh, suspect. On the bright side, uh, we have a, um, the same exact image, but in this case, uh, even though the tree is moving, uh, there's no false alarm going on. If you think about uh, all the ecosystem, all the things that come into play um, when a surveillance project is deployed, you have things such as uh, the services, the installation, the cabling, all the power that's required, the network routers and switches, the storage, the servers, the cameras. Um, that is a big um, chunk of the pie in terms of um, all the infrastructure that's required, all the, the capital that's required to put this in place, and you still haven't uh, provided a solution to do something. Uh, that would be the VMS solution, of course. Um, and the VMS solution is simply just recording and storing all that uh, video. The analytics, which represents uh, a very small portion of the cost, uh, is where we see the information being created, where you can do things with that video um, that you never thought possible before. You can extract the useful information or be alerted in real time to significant events and activities. Um, <clears throat> so when you think about um, the entire ecosystem, think about how, um, how much work and infrastructure is going in, and, and yet what value is being created at the end of the day for your customers. And consider using iMetis, obviously, uh, to do more than just record and store video.